Welcome everyone. If you're on iOS 16.2, the first setting we need to change is the advanced data protection. So let's open up the settings app. From here, you're going to tap on your name at the very top. And then once you tap on your name, you should see the iCloud toggle. You're going to tap on this. You are then going to scroll all the way down and we have a new advanced data protection option. You're going to tap on this one. And if you have the option, you want to turn on the advanced data protection. This is not available in all countries, so keep that in mind. What this does is if iCloud is hacked, your iCloud backups, your message backups, your iCloud drive, all of this information cannot be compromised. In the past, it could be. The FBI could also read all of your device backup information. Now, with the advanced data protection, they are unable to. Now, let's go back to the home page of settings and we're going to scroll all the way down until we see display and brightness. We are then going to scroll all the way down and you're going to tap on the always on display toggle. With iOS 16.2, if you turned off the always on display, or even if you have it on, we have new options. So we can choose to show the wallpaper on the lock screen and or to show the notifications on the lock screen. So if I turn these two off, you can see the always on display. It's more black. Uh, what this means for you is it's going to be harder to tell, um, you know, are you on the lock screen or not? That was the old iOS. Now you can easily tell, are you actually on the lock screen or is your device actually on? Okay. So if I unlock the device and then I select show wallpaper, you can then see the wallpaper will show up. Uh, the wallpaper is kind of black, but um, you'll be able to see that now. Next, we're going to slide down from the top. We're going to long press on our lock screen. We are then going to tap on the customize option. You're going to select the lock screen. And now with iOS 16.2, you can choose if you want sleep tracking on a lock screen. You can also have medication on a lock screen as well. So I'm going to tap on my current widget. I'm going to remove my old widgets. I am then going to scroll until I see sleep. And if you do want the sleep tracking on the lock screen, we now have the option here. Boom. If I go to the health, you will also be able to see the medications. You can place that on the lock screen as well. Let's go back to the home screen. And if you are using the Apple TV app, live activities is now supported in the TV app. So if you are watching live sports, you want to track sports, live activities will show the live score on the lock screen. I'll have a video on the best live activities app in the description and on the end screens right now.